Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprite, zo mijn een nieuwe aflevering van van Harry Potter zeggen en Pokémon zeggen van, van Layton's Mystery Journey. Uh, we zijn bij aflevering 2, wat betekent dat we alle tutorials eigenlijk al hebben gehad en nu gaan we gewoon kijken wie we kunnen aanspreken. We kunnen deze meneer aanspreken. <laughs> well, how long has it been, would you say? Hey, deze man die zit ook in andere Layton games. How long? I'm sorry, do we know each other? I'm uh, fairly sure I've never met you before, sir. Know each other? Y in a way, yes. In a way, no. I think it's... <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, people are like leaves washed along a river. Sometimes meeting, sometimes parting. You've rather lost me, I'm afraid. I um, don't suppose you noticed anything about the Elizabeth Tower last night, did you? Uh, I was already dreaming sweetly by nightfall yesterday. Uh, you're an early sleeper, are you? So you wouldn't have seen anything. <laughs> Is that all you wanted? I tell you what, how about a little puzzle to occupy the mind? I say, a puzzle? The world is full of puzzle, Ernest. Sometimes during the course of investigation, people do come out with puzzles for you to solve. It's all part of the process. So let's see what sort of puzzle we're dealing with here. Puzzle 2, the hands of time. The clock is currently showing the time as 3.30 p.m. It would be nice if the hands of the clock would show midnight. Okay. Uh, what would be the minimum number of places you'd need to touch? On the clock to show the desired time. Wacht, wat? The clock is currently showing 3:30 p.m. It would be nice if the hands of the clock would show midnight. Places you would need to touch. Oké, okay, ik, snap, ik snap nu wat er, uh, wat, er gezegd, uh, wat er gezegd wordt. Zie je mijn muis? Kijk, als je zeg maar 3.30 p.m. en midnight moet worden, dan zou je zeggen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 en dan 7, 8, 9, 10. Ik weet niet precies wat ze vragen. Ik vind het een onduidelijke vraag, maar ik denk dat 10 het antwoord is. Oh, dat was niet goed. Hmm. How to get the clock to show midnight? Can you think of a way? Ja, dat kan ik wel, maar ik snap de vraag niet. What would be the minimum number of places you'd need to touch? There's no need to touch the hands of the clock. Huh. Ah. Oh. Dan is het antwoord denk ik 1. Want dan hoeven we alleen maar een ronddraai dingetje aan te raken. Ik snap er helemaal niks van.
There's no need to open the front. Nee, dat snap ik. Je hoeft alleen maar uh, die, uh, deze pen zeg maar in, uh, hierin te duwen. Dat snap ik wel. Oh, dus zou je de klok helemaal niet aan hoeven te raken. Ja. Wauw. Oké, okay, got it. Ik zat heel anders te denken. Wat, wat ik al zei, ik snapte de vraagstelling niet. Very impressive. Let's hope you tackle all the puzzles you're going to face so convincingly. Dat hoop ik ook. Top of the morning to you. Got a minute to answer a few questions. Oh, uh, alright. I'm investigating uh, the extraordinary disappearance of the little end of the Big Bang. See? So didn't you uh, happen to see anything around these parts last night? Such as, for instance, a person or persons transporting a large-like object? Gus, he gets straight to the point, doesn't he? He's asking the very questions I was about to ask him. Oh, where, where's the matter, eh? Sorry, I'm Douglas Dirt. Everyone calls me Doug. I'm uh, the reporter of the London Times. See? Um, are you readers at all? Oh, I'll say. Personally, I think the London Times is the best paper in the city. Ah, you're too kind, lad. Um, although, I do make my mission to dig up the most dirtiest of dirt uh, uh, and uncovering the most unsavory of suits. And, as, uh, and at present, as I mentioned a former trollly I am investigating uh, the disappearance of Big Ben's hand. As it happens, we're investigating the same thing. Perhaps you might uh, share anything you've learned? Sorry, investigating, you say? Well, there's a turn up for the books. You don't look like detectives, I must say. Uh, I've had to ask, uh, you have packed. I would have packed you as a young couple out walking your lovely dog on a delightful morning. Well, I'm a detective. Haven't you ever heard of the Leyden Detective Agency? Leyden? I know the professor, uh, famous Professor Leyden, of course. But I didn't realize he had an agency or people in his employ. What a blow. Mind you, I didn't really expect any difference. Don't worry, Miss Leyden. Uh, you'll be famous soon enough. I'm quite certain of that. Anyway, as it happens, um, I was at the office all evening yesterday, penning my latest article, and did not observe the Big Ben at all. Uh, and I'm afraid uh, to say that my own investigation is just getting underway. I have nothing uh, to impart at the present time. I see. Well, thank you anyway. Wish you all the best with your ongoing investigating activities course. Likewise, sir. Good luck with yours. We've investigated all we can around here. I suggest we head closer to the tower. To the scene of the crime at last. I would say it's rather exciting. Okay. Ja, we gaan laten zien hoe je moet lopen. Ik weet hoe je moet lopen, want ik heb al vaker leden gespeeld, mijn jongen, mijn dame. Oké, okay. thank you. Nog even met hem praten. Oh, hij gaat het hetzelfde zeggen wat we al weten, oké. Okay. Reep, reep. The entrance to the clock tower looks to be over there. Oh, the police officers um, seem to examining something. Let's ask them what they found. Kijk, hint muntjes. 
We zagen net al dat we die wel nodig hebben in het muntjes. Oeh, een plus wel nice. One, two, one, two. Oh, hi there. Perfect weather for a run, isn't it? I must be pleasant place for jogging here. Uh, oh, it must be a pleasant place for jogging here with all the green space. Yes, I love it. I've done 50 laps already today. 50? I'm Gundrun. Uh, by the way, I've been running in cities all around the world. It, I just can't get enough. I like marathons and other events, but ordinary city streets are my favorite place to run. Uh, I just love exercising as I watch other people going about their business. I like doing puzzles to exercise my brain too, uh, and to keep my mind off uh, aching muscles. I just uh, came across a great one actually, try it. Bubble Blast. Shoot bubbles from the cannon to burst all of the bubbles floating in the air. To pop bubbles, you need uh, to form a chain linking bubbles of the same number horizontally and or vertically. The chain needs to contain at least as many bubbles as the number displayed. Okay. Um, slide bubbles from the cannon. Uh, okay, for yeah, slide the bubbles from the cannon uh, on to the left into empty spaces to fire. Ammo um, is replenished after each shot. Okay. Okay. Dat telt ook als chain. Interessant. Oké. Okay. Ik snap hem. Try again. Volgens mij heb ik hem nou. 1, 2, 3, 4. Nice. This should do it, I think. And that's how Puzzle unsolved. Uh, Puzzle unsolved. <laughs> dat is ook knap. Nee, we hebben een pittig hard gezolved. Nice. Yes, that's it. Nice one. 1, 2, 1, 2. Alright, I'm ready to push on. Beat the pain. Ha, good luck. I'm going to stay in London for a while, I think. There are lots of places around the city where I would like to run. I want to make sure um, I see as much as I can see when I'm well, while I'm here. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. Bye then. Okay, this is 
Hello, Miss... Um, let me see. Oh, yes, that's right, Miss Layton. Inspector Hastings mentioned you. Oh, uh, yes, here it is. You're assisting with our investigations, I see. So we're, uh, we're to share information and resources. Thank you, officer. That will be very helpful. helpful. Another on-the-ball detective, is it? Yes, this is DC Nick Booker. Uh, one of Inspector Hastings' men. Nick Booker? Thrown into profession, has he? Perhaps uh, you'd be so kind to tell us what you've learned about the case so far. Yes, well, according to uh, our inquiries, uh, it seems there's been an outbreak of, um, ah yes, of metal theft in the capital recently. Metal theft? Mm, yes, I think that's what it says here. Yes, metal being stolen from factories and warehouses. Really? What on earth would be uh, would anyone why nay what on earth would anyone steal pieces of metal for? Some metals are valuable, Ernest, and thieves can sell scrap and made from them from a high price. Yes, according to my notes here, the missing clock uh, hand was made of, um, ah yes, here it is, a very valuable metal that would fetch a good price if it's sold. So we're continuing along the line of this investigation. I see, metal theft. Well, thank you for your help, DC Booker. Don't mention it, madam. It just, I'm just doing what uh, it says on my notebook. Hey, kijk. We hebben weer een clue. Hello, 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 Miss Mayton, uh, Layton. Inspector Hastings has instructed all, uh, us all to give you full co cooperation. Wonderful! So, I don't need to explain. Could you just tell us what you've found out so far? You'll be glad to, Miss. I will be glad to, Miss. Uh, we have ascertained uh, that on the night in question, that's being last night, there, has n there was no one here. No one at all? Not even a janitor or something? Correct. There is a room behind the large clock faces known as the clock room. However, the room was locked overnight. So is the clock tower always empty overnight? Except for when uh, works are ongoing, yes. Uh, when the servicemen are uh, in, they sometimes work late apparently. But last night the servicemen knocked off early, it seems. So there's no one around uh, who might have uh, seen the thief. Uh, sorry, not to have better news for you. Now we've spoken uh, to the investigating officers. I think it's time we had a look inside the clock tower. But it's locked, isn't it? Should we talk to PC uh, Beat, uh, do you think? Excuse me, PCB, would you be so good to uh, allow us in entry to the clock tower? Well, yes, of course. Inspector Hazen gave us instructions to cooperate fully with you, Miss Layton. Step right in. Walk right up. Thank you. We'll all come in, if we may. Uh, I must warn you, it's one long staircase when you get inside. I hope your leg muscles are working. Um, yes. Na 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 Golly What a lot of stairs my feet are killing me Ernest Greaves You should be Ashamed of yourself getting tired out so easily. You're panting harder than he is. Oh look, it's spectacular. I've never seen the in internals of a clock tower before. Magnificent. Being inside such an important landmark like this is rather splendid, isn't it? The clock face must uh, the clock face and the cogs are so enormous. Yes, it's quite exciting uh, being allowed inside a place that's off limits for most people. 
All right, you two, get over yourselves. Ah, it's just remember. I just remembered something I forgot to mention before. Oh, what's that? Sometimes, as you're investigating, you come across something unexpected. An unexpected miss. Oh yeah, the reading. And treasure of a walnut. Thank you all for the collection. Nice. You never know what you might find while you're hunting for clues. So leave no stone unturned, Ernest. Not one, Miss Layton. Very good, so let's get back to the task. Here's even hit bookies for how we Ooh, a puzzle. Both hands uh, present and correct on his face, at least. Uh, that would be a good puzzle, wouldn't it? I'm a face but have no eyes, no ears and no mouth. I do have hands, however, what am I? It happens though, there's a different puzzle here. Look! Do, uh, do you want to try it? Little bit of Amaze balls. Try your hand at this clock and ball puzzle. Okay, spawn. The objective is move all of the balls into the corresponding area of the clock. The balls can be moved vertically or horizontally, but the lines are in num in the numbers of the clock act as barriers. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, they can not be crossed. You can uh, also cannot jump over other balls or uh, place one ball at the top of the other. Slide the balls to move them and touch the arrows to change the time of the clock. Okay, so alles moet hier daar rechts. So, oh, look on it. Natuurlijk. Tada! Dat is grappig. Still no patch on Miss Layton, of course. Nice. Good work, Prince Stripes. Pin Stripes. Why, thank you, Cheryl. Ooh. The mechanism is fast as well. Is fast as well, is it? Isn't it? And it keeps ticking despite being one hand down. It's lucky uh, there are three other faces showing the correct time. The people of London rely on the Big Ben to know the time. Nah, that thing a bit after, but okay. Hey, what are you doing inside? No entry to public. Mm, that's alright, I'm from Leiden's detective agency. The police has given us permission to investigate here. Uh, you're are a service meant for great clocks, I, I take it. No, yes, I'm Hans, Hans Lipsky. 
and uh, this is for missing hands. I already said the police everything I know. Uh, you people are drilling hole in my belly. Well, I'm sorry to ask to repeat yourself, but uh, would you mind telling us what you told the police, Mr. Lipsky? Ken Lipsky? He can't help his name, Cheryl. There's nothing for telling. Uh, when Hent went, uh, when Hent went missing, I was already at my home. I don't know nothing. You went home early yesterday. I understand. Day before. I was working on them after midnight fixing the clock, so yesterday I go home early. Uh, was there anything unusual about the hand uh, that was taken? It wasn't loose or misaligned or anything. No, I fixed it only two days ago, like I tell you. Well, I put it back, I make sure it is good fixed on. I see, so there's no chance that the hand dropped off then. Slipped out of your hands perhaps? Police already investigate everything. In here around clock face, uh, but they find nothing and they have gone now. Yes, please me, uh, sorry, tell me Mr. Lipsky, when did you notice that the hand was missing? Same time everyone is else. When I look down my window in the morning, I see missing hand. Oh, so you were, uh, so where you live is in straight side of the clock tower, and in the side of the face when uh, with the missing hand. I see. No, yes, I am living close to here on a Chancer Lane. Gosh, how extraordinary! The same street that the agency is on. It's strange that we didn't notice the hand was missing ourselves. Exactly, I'm sure I remember seeing it when uh, I looked at the tower this morning. Because uh, you are looking at different face. It depends on where you are living. Thank you. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Zie ik je graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.